patented May 2nd, 1893. All right, here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a little metal detecting. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, I am at a uh, the location of an old pre-Civil War farm. And there's a giant brick house that stood here when I was a kid. Uh, some time ago, maybe, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago, some developers bought the farm. And they built a whole bunch of houses over there, but they haven't built here yet. But, unfortunately, they pushed the, the house over, which is really sad because it was a giant uh, federal-style brick home. I actually remember the old lady that lived here back in the 1970s. She was a widow, lived here by herself. This is a uh, transformer. This powered the farm. And, uh, well, what was the date on there? See when that was put in. It's probably full of dioxin, so we don't want to kick that too hard. Got some pretty cool little insulators here. Uh, they're not very old. I'm not going to wor really worry about them too much. I did want to point out these trees. This is called a honey locust, and they have these thorns on them, which are very sharp, and those things will go right to the bone if you run into it. So you always be careful when you're around honey locust trees. They got pretty darn big, too. Another one down here. I've seen these clusters where they just stick out like this far, like they're 12 inches long. In fact, they have some in my basement that are really cool. Lots of bricks here. So I think we're on the right track. These part of the house is down here. Now, we were here a couple years ago, but the grass was really too tall to look around very much. Uh, so I just kind of remembered this spot a couple days ago and thought we'd pop over here real quick, see if we can do better today. Grass is definitely uh, very short. That's another mound of dirt when they first started developing this uh, area about 10, 15 years ago. Again, there's going to be houses here soon, so <laughs> let's give her a shot. Well, here's an interesting little find. Look in there. Somebody dropped their cell phone. Probably out here uh, hunting, deer hunting, but I don't know. Oh, it's been out here a while. <laughs> you can always tell when the uh, batteries get wet. They swell up and of course they just push everything apart well i may have been mistaken about people someone having lost the phone uh, deer hunting because here's another one this one has obviously been destroyed on purpose i don't know what's going on out here i guess i better better really be watching out and looking in the bushes as i'm going along it might be a body might be a ambush all right so we're hunting with the garrett at max today i have on zero program zero discrimination but i'm going to bump that up because right now there is a ton of iron where we're standing i just kind of swung it around a little bit and it's absolutely nuts so this is what it sounds like but it's nice little squeakies in here too so we'll dig that hopefully it's not construction junk like shredded cans yeah i was in the grass that's probably not anything too good let's grab it while we're here i'm gonna put my headphones back on yeah look that's like aluminum so that could be from the construction guys that uh cleared this out years ago a few years ago but anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and bounce my discrimination up to I'm holding a button, the discrimination button. You can see that number right there. I'm going to just go way up to like 30. And that will cut out a lot of the iron. See how much quieter it is? Those little clicks, that's just the iron that we're hearing. That's another nice signal right there. But I'm going to go ahead and dig it. And if it's something good, I'll show it to you. I just dug this. This is a tooth to a sickle bar mower blade. Uh, you've seen me dig a thousand of these over the years probably uh, there would have been a whole line of these on a big bar that slid back and forth and it would cut hay or grass or anything like that even though this is iron it actually sounds pretty good because it's you know, good flat it's flat and pretty thick you know it's good steel so kind of gave off a halfway decent chirp thing is how this has been detected before not just by me um you know i'm gonna have to dig a lot of those more questionable signals because i suspect a lot of those good squeakers are probably going to be gone already all right we have a really nice squeaker in here i'm hoping it's going to be something good that might be it right there <gasps> is it <laughs> yeah all right it looks like that's going to be like a little uh harness buckle or something 
Yep, that's what it is. So we have here what we have. Try to knock some of that mud out for you. It's hard to do. With, uh, I'm going to set you down for just a minute. So I went ahead and set you down because I wanted to try to knock the, the mud out of the center. But the tongue, which is made of iron, is really rusted. You can see how, how big it is. It normally wouldn't be that big, but it swelled up because of the rust. So I couldn't clean it out too well. But you can see that's a nice little buckle. Actually gave it a nice little squeak. Even though it's loaded, uh, you know, it's half iron. <laughs> Target's half iron. Oh, ah, just dropped it. So this is kind of interesting. I'm over on that big pile of dirt uh, that the developers pushed in some years ago. And you see how big the trees are on it. So that tells you how long ago it was when they pushed this house over. But anyway, I'm still getting lots of signals up through here. And even on this big old pile of dirt, this is part where they pushed the yard up. You know, the best dirt. There's lots of, lots of ceramics in here. See some broken bricks. This is actually a groundhog or a woodchuck hole. See if it kicked out anything good. Don't really see anything there. But one thing that caught my eye over here, and I don't know if you can see it or not, evidence that someone else was probably metal detecting here. I know they have. I know that people can't come here. Um, oh, here's some more evidence. <laughs> if you look right there, that's an old metal detecting hole right here. See how this is kind of built up like that? That's a clump of dirt. Now, I haven't been here probably for, I don't know, re be realistic, probably four or five years. But if you look here, this big ring in the tree. I'm pretty certain a metal detector dude put that up there. Yeah, because there's another one right there. That's something I would never do. So I know that wasn't me. That wasn't my old dig hole there. I also noticed this when I was uh, looking down across there. Yeah, um, we'll just leave that over there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I threw it. <laughs> Should have just dropped it at my feet. Maybe somebody else would have found it. Ooh, that's, look at that big old thing. What is that? That is a giant piece of iron, man. <laughs> that thing is massive. Looks like some type of... Uh, it definitely made like that, wasn't it? Hear the troll train? When you hear the uh, troll train, or the uh, the uh, whistle going off like that, that means they're going across uh, an at-grade crossing, like a road goes across the tracks there, so they blow the whistle, so people hear it. So every time you hear that, that's pretty much what that means. The more you know. Seems like I've been talking about these a lot in my recent videos, but... Uh, I got another one. That is an arrow that hunters would use to shoot deer. And you have to be very careful because those are razor sharp. I don't like to save these things because I'm afraid I'm gonna cut my fingers if I put them in the bag. So I'll probably just stick it up in the tree or something. Maybe somebody else will find it and keep it. Something down there, when I first spotted it, I thought it was somebody's leg. But I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> well, it is a boot. A pair of boots. Isn't that weird? Why would somebody have or pitch their boots like that? Isn't that strange? Like something like it was chewing on it right there. Huh, that is weird. This is an old can of some sort. Um, notice it's got soldered seams on it. See, that's the lead solder. So this is an older one for sure, but it's not really worth keeping. I'll leave it out there with the boots. This area right here, it's getting a lot of iron. And um, so I decided to just kind of dig a hole. And there's quite a bit of pottery in here. There's some, <laughs> there are uh, bulldozers and stuff over there. That's like, you know, I guess a flower pot or something. I don't know. Got some letters going around it, around the edge maybe or there could be just designs and that's definitely a piece for crockery big hinges little pieces of iron lots of uh charcoal now that's a round nail so we know that's not terribly old well i mean it could be 100 years easy but it's not civil war uh civil war era um i was hoping that it might be worth digging around in here see if we could find a bottle or two but I don't see much glass, but I'll go ahead and run the metal detector over this. And if I get any anything good, we might dig this area out and see if uh, see if there's a whole bunch of Civil War buttons in there. I don't have my hopes up. I think this is probably a piece of chrome off of a uh, car. Not 100%, but I guarantee someone is watching this. One of you guys will know exactly what car that comes off of. 
I uh, wasn't really going to show you that, but since we're here, I wanted to point this out to you. There's some daffodils coming up. You see, they're not quite in bloom. And if you look out across here, there's other little patches. There's a little patch there and some more patches out there. Now, I know this house has not been lived in or wasn't lived in in at least 40 years. They even survived this whole home site being destroyed with bulldozers. <laughs> so they're pretty hardy. And that's one way you can find old home sites when there's nothing left out there in the woods or the fields even is just see daffodils coming up. That's usually a good indication. Uh, all right, let's get back at it and see if we can find uh, at least one silver coin today. Or actually, I'll take anything, to be honest with you. Jeez. <laughs> the boys are busy today. <laughs> Not too far from where we were digging, where the, uh, the old house was, and this is an area where the, I think there was probably, this was probably like a tenant house at one time. In the little shed here. That's a groundhog hole. I always like to look, check the dirt, see if they dug up anything interesting. Some old bed frames jammed in the door for some reason. I see a bottle over there. It looks kind of interesting. That might be like an old soda bottle or something. We might try to take a look at that in a minute. You see they use this as a dump. This was some type of little shed that they had here with <laughs> iron bars and they threw their trash in here i'd say that's probably like i said that's probably 1970s i'd say 60s 70s maybe not quite 80s uh, so we don't really want to look in there so what i'll do is i'll look around a little bit here i'm not going to spend a lot of time but i want to try to find see if we can find an old bottle dump or something because these people were pretty trashy over here in this house I was thinking it might be able to find it. We were dumped over here in a hole or something, but it seems like they were pretty happy just dumping right next to the house. So I don't have high hopes for that. I'm just noticing that piece of iron. That's a uh, door off a stove. Oh, there's a human skull over here. Actually, I'm not sure it isn't. <sighs> what do you think? Has that weird fuzzy not natural look to oh that's a bird nest that's a baltimore oreo nest i think pretty sure that's what that is i could be mistaken but it's a nest of, it is a bird nest for sure look in here that's where we would have had the eggs and his little babies and that would have been up in the tree of course and they used an old um those are fibers from like a sleeping bag or a real pillow or something use the fibers to make it but uh, it used to be up there at one time but it fell down this is a hoe that they would have used to work the fields back in the day you see it's pretty well worn but yeah i don't actually find many of these this is a real rocky area for them to have been working wow that's pretty cool right here i wonder if there could be an old home site over here that's where i dug the hole right there and i noticed that there was an old brick right here so we might be on an old home site that's an old one so i started digging uh well i dug i'm going to dig some of the bigger iron to see and i'm not even sure what that is but that's a solid heavy piece of iron right there i don't know if that's going to be a leg off of something and if so i have no idea why it would be that massive that's probably the broken end well that end's broken for sure uh looks like it has some decoration on it there's no uh, evidence of where a handle would go in there, so it's not a tool, not any type of hammer, but yeah, this is kind of interesting, really. Might have been an old, an old place right in here. I don't see any hint of a foundation other than there is a flat area, you notice, right in here. Um, but these are all natural rocks. They could have had a cabin sitting here. Well, hopefully we'll find a button where uh, maybe if we get lucky, we can find an old colonial coin. That'd be nice. The brick right there I just showed you. And I got a little squeaker over here. And I dug it up and I think that's it right there. And it's either an old button or maybe a more modern coin. Looks like it might be a button to me though. What do you think? Boy, it's about the roundness of a modern coin. Ah, coin, that's a uh, button now. If you look right there in the back, you can see the shank. Well, that's an old one there. there. That's, a, that's an old uh, pewter button. You can see it's starting to crumble a little bit, so I've got to be careful with it. Be really careful with these about the, these pewter buttons like this because a lot of times you know they're fragile but they'll have it could be military from like the uh, american revolution 1770s 
so always be very careful with these and clean them up um, before you just toss them in your <laughs> digging bag I will that's for sure so we're probably on a little colonial site right here maybe the original site for this farm who knows so I went ahead and I cleaned it up just to make sure there isn't um, a design on there military design it looks like it's just a plain flat button shank still intact which is nice but uh, yeah okay we'll go uh, we'll dig around here a little bit longer I'll be honest with you I don't think we're gonna find a lot of non ferrous targets but with something like this uh, the one you do find could be really good so <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, punch. I've dug so much junk today. Oh my god, I've dug so much junk. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty much giving up, but uh, I'm rejuvenated now. I worked this little area pretty good. I'm not coming up with much else. The iron is pretty concentrated, but only right up to here, right along that ledge. And then there's a lot of iron up in there, too. That's where I found the button. So I suspect if there was a cabin here one time, it probably stood right in there. Uh, again, this place has been metal detected before this farm. So at one time there could have been a lot of stuff here, but this, this site itself is not that big. It's only like this little area of iron. And then once you get out a little ways, it completely disappears. I think we're gonna go ahead and move on. Uh, see if we can get into another little spot or head on home, Jack. <laughs> I've been out for a while. This hasn't been a great day of finding stuff, but let me ask you this. How many of you guys have found a button that dates to like the mid 1700s? Probably a lot of you, but some of you haven't. And I just found one today. <laughs> so I moved to a slightly different area and I'm over along the railroad tracks now. I came across one of these old, um, uh, I want to say telephone, it's probably telegraph lines, electric lines. There are a whole bunch of broken insulators at the base i looked around and i saw over there by where my metal detector is uh one just barely sticking out of the dirt and it looks like it's complete it looks like it's a pretty cool one really hemingway or heming gray rather and i think it had a patent date on it yep patented may 2nd 1893 that might look good in my relic room so tell you what let's go along the tracks um this property goes for I don't know, a quarter of a mile or so uh, along the tracks. And we'll check uh, all these poles and see if we can find any more of these. I think some have probably already come through and you got the good ones, but we might get another one that's not too bad. <laughs> that looks like a nice one right there. I don't see that it's broken. Let's look at it together. Flip it over. <gasps> no, that's good. Got a slight crack right there, slight chip. But still, that's a pretty nice one different than the one we have can't really read it can you <laughs> I'm not sure but it's got the patent date of 1884 on it so oh cool not perfect but close enough I just found this and I thought it was like a giant misshapen horseshoe because it's got that horseshoe shape but pretty sure that's not what it is it looks like it has some type of bolt or something coming through the sand that might be broken off so it's probably u-shaped at one time uh, more so than it is now not too far from where i found that um uh, iron u thingy that looked like a horseshoe and i got another big iron signal so i went ahead and dug it up and i think this is going to be a horseshoe oh yeah all right first complete horseshoe of the day i might go ahead and save that one that's in pretty nice shape Mother Earth, you are my lady, 